Jakari Jackson for InfoWars.com reporting in Philadelphia. This is the last day of the Pope's visit. Now, since he's been here, he's said and done a lot of things. But the thing that stuck out to me the most is something he said during, I guess it was a mass, where he came out and said that the life of Jesus ultimately ended in failure, in the failure on the cross. I have the transcript here. This is reported by ABC News. And it says in part, the cross shows us a different way of measuring success. Ours is to plant the seed. God sees the fruit of our labors. And if at times our efforts and work seem to fail and not produce fruit, we need to remember that we are followers of Jesus Christ and his life, humanly speaking, ended in failure, the failure of the cross. So to say that his life in general, the cross in particular, was a failure is something I'm very disappointed to see from a supposed spiritual leader. And there are many other things I could talk about as far as the Pope, but this is something, a glaring thing that stuck out to me. So anybody who claims to be a follower of Christ, uh, I'm surprised if they're not as shocked and appalled by this as I am. I found it to be very disturbing and a very sour note to have while he was here in the United States of America. You can find more reports on Infowars.com. I'm going to tell you something private. Yo en el bolsillo, en mi pocket, llevo siempre dos cosas. I always carry two things. Un rosario. Rosary. Un rosario. Para rezar. To pray. Y una cosa que parece extraña. Something which seems odd. ¿Qué es esto? Y esto es la historia del fracaso de Dios. This here, in this item, is the history of God's failure. Es un via crucis. It's the way of the cross. La mayor parte de los habitantes del planeta se declaran creyentes. Esto debería provocar un diálogo entre las religiones. No debemos dejar de orar por él y colaborar con quienes piensan distinto. Confío en Buda. Creo en Dios. Creo en Jesucristo. Creo en Dios. Alá. Muchos piensan distinto. Sienten distinto, buscan a Dios o encuentran a Dios de diversa manera. En esta multitud, en este abanico de religiones, hay una sola certeza que tenemos para todos. Todos somos hijos de Dios. Creo en el amor. Creo en el amor. Creo en el amor. Creo en el amor. Confío en vos para difundir mi petición de este mes. Que el diálogo sincero entre hombres y mujeres de diversas religiones conlleve frutos de paz y justicia. Confío en tu oración.